Are you one of many women who lack confidence in terms of drawing a line saying this is unacceptable if your husband or even your boyfriend is treating you disrespectfully, maybe verbally abusing you or, or sinning against you in some way, looking at pornography, lusting openly after other women, whatever it is, do you have trouble being confident enough to draw firm lines and say, I will not tolerate this kind of behavior? Well, I've learned there's two common reasons where women tend to lack confidence. Reason number one is you grew up in an environment perhaps where there was a lot of verbal abuse or arguments or rage and so you just tend to want to shy away from anything that could even resemble confrontation. You just want to ignore the pink elephant in the room because you so are afraid of confrontation. And a second reason why women tend to not be able to draw that firm boundary is because of insecurity. You just don't really understand your own worth and your own value. You don't feel like you have value or that you are lovable and so you can't really draw a line. Well, here's also what I've learned. If you don't draw the line, if you don't deal with this fear of confrontation, if you don't really seek to figure out you know, that you are valuable, then you're not going to draw the line and you're going to keep on getting what you're getting right now. Nothing is really going to change. Yes, you can pray and prayer is extremely powerful, but often God wants us to step out and draw a line when someone is sinning against us. You can read Matthew 18 verses 15 through 17 for a little lesson on that one. But what do we do if number one, you're afraid of confrontation or number two, you're just, you know, feel insecure and don't really have that confidence to say, I am valuable, you can't treat me like this. Okay, problem number one, you are afraid of confrontation. Well, you're going to have to pray and ask God to give you the courage. I would meditate on Joshua 1.9, where God says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Ooh, that's a great verse to memorize, Joshua 1.9. Pray to, for God to give you that confidence and, and, and remind yourself that, hey, he is with me wherever I go. Secondly, if you're the woman who just feels insecure and really lacks knowledge about your value, meditate on Zephaniah 3.17, where God says, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Wow, when I meditate on that, whew, I feel like, you know, I think God thinks I'm pretty special and no one should be treating me in a way that's disrespectful. Meditate on those two verses and see if you become a more confident wife.